it's not like we haven't tried to do something with this place and keep up with the owner on it, but. So this is 17. Same stuff in the yard. Oh, wide open doors. That's the slider off of one of the bedrooms, the one on the right. So this is the inside. Those are animal holes that you see in the left photo. What you're seeing in the right photo is an active leak. Mm -hmm. Much more so in the kitchen. What you're beginning to see over there on the bottom right is the basement and mold everywhere. When the service got ripped down, not that we didn't have the electric already turned off. <coughs> this tree is gone. The tree, both the trees in the left photo are now gone. The town did not do that. Another complaint at the property, just similar stuff. Kids seen inside or around the house. This is why you guys made that law and, and have it in place, is for places like this. What you're seeing in that right bay window, that's all that. You can see right inside to the building, you know, inside the building. Uh, there's just been nothing done. back door more open that leads up to the attic which I would never go up there the rafter tails are all rotted and you could clearly see it from the ground I don't need to know more than that you know would know that it's only a matter of time before this thing is on the ground There we go. These are the floor joists from that deck that you saw that they put on. What you're seeing is water damage for years and years and years. It's, it's literally mold and mildewed and rotted away. So we're at 19. Doesn't look like much changes, right? You'd think they were the same photos, but they're not. So now you see that deck on the right are all popping up because the floor joists are rotting away underneath them. There's no bearing there. It's only a, not a very long time before this goes. This downstairs, more of the same. And then no day, a neighbor did bring in by a letter from the Von Kuthi family to state that Dr. Von Kuthi had passed away. I believe we sent condolences. Speak volumes, 19. Doors open, windows open, just sometimes it boggles the mind. So in 20, we had emails from a man identifying himself as Peter Neuntoffel. So he's the president of the Zoological and e Ecological Research Foundation, Incorporated. And want to know what to do. And we directed him and said, told him to get an architect and engineer if you're planning on saving the place, because that's the very startup where you're going to have to go. So we offered to meet with him, and he didn't take us up on it. We needed 
update everything. Prosecution-wise, when it comes to orders to remedy, they're only good for a year from the date of issuance. So it, even though the violation lives in perpetuity until it's abated, if you want to have an active prosecution, you've got to be able to have a, something that's within the right time frame. So that's why we update it again. So this is what it looks like now. Not a lot of changes. Debris all over. Doors, windows open. I mean, it. Anyway. So now what you're seeing in the left side are some of those floor joists that are already beginning to cave. They've rotted away from their mounts and it's the place is literally starting to fall in on itself. And you're seeing it right there. So this is a summary of, of what we've done in a combination from other departments as well in handling all of these items. They did remove the interior contents to a local contractor uh, a little over a year ago. I'll entertain questions. Wayne, thank you. That's a very complete, detailed photograph report. Yeah, thank you, Wayne. Is there anybody else here that would like to discuss this public hearing? That, that report and those photos are in the record of the hearing, is that, am I correct? Correct. Thank you. Yep. Can I speak, come up, sir. Good evening. I'm Peter Neuteufel, currently the president of the Zoological Ecological Research Foundation. Uh, some of the facts are, well, not quite correct. The uh, house that was not lived in since, uh, for 16 years. There was somebody living in it until the beginning of 2011, uh, so 10 years roughly. Um, yes, I, I hired, uh, or we hired, an, an engineer, uh, an architect, and currently there's a, uh, a mold remediation company working on it and a, an asbestos surveying an abatement company uh, taking samples for me to get a, um, uh, the, what is it, the permit to, uh, for the mold remediation, uh, for the mold remediation company to take out the sheetrock, up to the uh, studs and all that. Um, I, I have a question. Who, who are you? Like, are I'm you related to the doctor? The, I'm a son. He's the current okay. president of the. Oh, since he passed away, I'm now the president of the uh, corporation. And what does the corporation do? Uh, the a nonprofit uh, research foundation. What does it do? Um, zoological and ecological research. So. Uh, at the location. At zoological and ecological. At that Marco Road location. No, uh, not at that. Other uh, other locations. Where do you live? I live in Con Connecticut currently. Okay. And why hasn't anything been done for 16 years? Well, as I said, there's somebody was living in it 10 years ago, but uh. Right, so 10 years. No. There's, there's really not well, a big difference. I can't say before, before that. The, uh, since I was president, I last since last March, uh, the pandemic. How did you become president? Who who else is involved in with the uh, not for profit? Well. My mother was involved, but she also passed away last year. Uh, then there were two other officers, and together uh, they appointed me president. Really? Who are the other officers? Uh, Rudy Nedved and uh, Leanne uh, Nedved. Who? R Rudy and Leanne Nedved. And where are they? Uh, they're currently in Europe. In Europe? Yes. 
That's why they appointed me. That's why they appointed me president. So, so you haven't done anything. Your father didn't do anything. And the place is is dangerous. Well, uh, and and here's the thing. I was here. I don't know how many years ago. And your father was here, mm -hmm. and he talked about things, and nothing got done. Mm -hmm. So, I guess my question is, why? You, you have a company looking at mold remediation. It, there's more there than right. That. Well, uh, for right. the for the architects and for the uh, contractor to work in there, the mold has to be gone first. Well, how about getting somebody out there to clean up the yard, get all the garbage out of there? Well, That'd be a much better start than worrying about the, the mold. The yard is being mowed, uh, mowed, and the uh, all the garbage. Wayne is uh, still the garbage <laughs> is still there in the back. The doors and windows are still open as of today. The yard is currently being taken care of by the town. No, um, uh, we pay somebody for that. Since when? Four years, I think. I don't think so. I, I have talked talk to Zoning today. They, they are not on the list. They're no longer on the list? They're not no. on the list. So That's the only thing they've done in the mode, which is mowing around garbage, cleaning up. I mean, we've been through this. The residents have been through this for whether well, it's 10 years or 15 years. Coming in at the last minute for mobile remediation to me is a joke. Yes. What we're doing is not helping the process and sending rain letters about stop work orders and getting around the mold and getting somebody in and getting somebody. We have an order tonight, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell you now, I am 100% in favor of passing this order, which gives you basically a very small time frame to complete this project, not mm -hmm. get mold remediation, not take down a, a piece of anything, to bring it up to town code. It's a very short window. We don't want to hear that you had mold and you had an issue. We've been playing with this in the residents in the neighborhood, been playing with this for many years, and enough is enough. Whether it was you or part of this corporation, your family, and whoever these people in Europe are, they don't live here. These people live here, and they've dealt with this mess for years. And for having you come in, it's an embarrassment to have you tell this board, you're in here worrying about mold remediation. You even had, had the decency, as Mike said, to walk around and pick up the garbage and make it look halfway decent. So it's a joke. But you can go on and say what you want, because I already have made up my opinion. I understand it's a public hearing. but. I, I don't usually think about them, but to come in here, you're basically it's a slap in the face to huh. us and to the residents in the neighborhood. I didn't mean to be insulting or anything. I'm just saying I, I'm, I was working on the problem that uh, uh, it, so saying it, it, all due respect, if you would come here today and said, I have a general contractor. He's lined up. He's going to start cleaning the property. We're going to have trucks out there tomorrow. All the garbage is going to be gone. Contractors going to be taking the roof down and shoring up the, the sides of the walls and, and all the structures and stuff. <coughs> that would be something I'd really want to hear. So yeah, I won't believe it. I mean, that, that, I, anything, no disrespect to you, sir, but unless you're willing to tell me that, you know, if, you can go forward, and, and, but I'm, I'm voting yes for this, and I'm going to give you that window to, to do everything I just said to do. And I'm not going to promise this with no disrespect because it's ridiculous, and, and you coming in here and, and saying this is ridiculous. You've done nothing. Like, you can talk, but you actually have to do. If you had done it already, maybe, but cutting the lawn and leaving the garbage there, is just, it's just, it's a shame which, what's happened. I also don't know that you have any authority at all to represent a not-for-profit because you're not presenting anything to say that you're in any position of authority. Your father supposedly was the president. That doesn't make you, this is not some sort of third world nation where when your dad dies you become president. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're not showing anything that's, as far as I know I haven't seen anything that shows that you have authority to act on behalf of the owner of the property. That being said, if I were you, I wouldn't want that authority because I'd be ashamed of myself to allow that condition to exist and to try to come in here at this point and act as if you're going to do something about it. Because I don't, aside from taking the place down, I'm not sure that you can do anything about it. I mean, remediating the mold is doesn't do anything to solve I don't think problem. it's safe to walk in that building based on the pictures we've just seen. Um, now, do you have the financing to actually restore this building? Because at this point, you might be better just to take it down yourself and sell the lot. We're in a really hot market right mm -hmm. now, and that might be your best way forward, and also to create funding for your not-for-profit. That would, that would be an alternative, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really don't think you're going to be able to get enough done in this short time frame. Mm -hmm. Here's a question for Wayne. With all that was done previously, don't we already have the authority to take that down? How is like we I, I would have to look at the resolution that you, the board approved back in 2015 that allowed that. 
there has to be specific language about the demolition okay. in order for us to, to do it. I believe there, there has, there's, was previous. Uh, uh, I'm pretty confident because I was here and I'm uh, pretty sure we had everything in line to take that thing down. There's it's there was a the left for the demolition, whether it's the most recent one or not. The 2019, um, pardon me, uh, the 2015 um, resolution uh, did mention demolition. All right, so we have the authority. The filing against the property um, in the clerk's office um, is for a one-year period, and uh, Wayne is talking, I think, separately uh, about prosecuting violations. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. And that, that's a separate one year. So, so the, the authority uh, lapsed the year after it was given? I, I, I think okay. it did. All right, so but this is set up to move forward, and the language, I, I believe, it was worked up based on the concerns that several of you expressed at the last meeting. And so, so Stefan, no matter what, tonight gives him a t to September 15th. Okay, so mm -hmm. I guess let's do this. Go ahead and uh, just the engineer say, say what you want to say. The engineer that, we, uh, keep that I hired did say that the structure is still structurally sound. So, I mean, I would ask that that be d considered. Do you have that? In writing, a report we can see. Yeah, who's your engineer? Uh, Charles May. Oh, that I thought that was an architect. Did you get anything yet, Wayne, or the building department? No, no, I didn't. So the town has nothing. That. I can forward that. And too. Wayne, we didn't have <laughs> any of our <laughs> engineers go look at this building, did we? Or <laughs> just no, we did. Mm -hmm. I think we want to present everything he has. Yeah, just, and just, that, just go ahead and say what you have. I can forward that to you. Just yeah. just for everything that you supposedly have to win. Okay. But I think we'll bring you forward. Go ahead. I, I, that w that's all that comes to mind, I think. I, I wish you more success with this property, but I think we're going to move forward with this for yeah, the yeah. better for the town. Yeah, I just yeah, a shame, shame on all of you that have been involved with Should it. Should I read it's this? It's a, 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 a good 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 I'm going to send all the documents to the building department. Is that correct? Yes. That yes. would be the right way. Thank you. Thank you. There's a Christine that would like to speak on this. Christine, go ahead. Christine, are you out there? You had your hand raised. On Can eyes. you hear me? Yes. yes. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, I apologize for not being in person, but I'm, I am away with my family at this point. Um, I'm Christine Whalen. I now own the property at 81 Markle Road Extension. Uh, I was in front of you at the last board meeting to ask for your help. Um, you know, I, I know you, let me apologize in advance for the anger that's coming out of my mouth. But the, the very detailed report that the building inspector prepared for this evening, I appreciate and it gives you an inkling of what my parents have lived with for the last two decades. No one from the Nintuckle family has been there in decades. The house has been vacant. I can't, if someone was living there, I, I have no idea how they were living there. They never saw anybody living there. There was no one living there in 2011, I assure you. The Nightwalker family has abandoned that house and been gone for years. As far as the ridiculous ecological society or whatever they're calling themselves at this point, my lawyer has investigated and found that they actually engage in no legitimate business. The, most, the closest thing they ever had to an ecological society is when his father was experimenting with rats and decided he didn't want to do that anymore and let them all loose. Rat, hundreds of rats across my parents' property to the point where my mother couldn't come home from work because that's what she would find. I, this, you know, and with all due respect, some of you haven't been there for as long as this has been going on. But the town board let my parents and every other neighbor on Marble Road Extension down 
you have had so many opportunities to take action. My parents' tax dollars were paying for that lawn to get mowed for years because that was the only thing we, my father could get you to do. And yes, he is the one that would complain three and four times a year till the day he died. And nothing was done. So right now, as I'm about to try to sell that house, I already told you last time my realtor said it, she doesn't know that we'll be able to sell it except for a song given the nightmare that is next door to me. As we sit here tonight, there's a tree, uprooted tree on the property. There's garbage everywhere. There's siding. There's a baking pool that's actually melted into the ground somehow. The only remedy that is fair to the rest of us that have lived with this nightmare is for you not to give him more time. They have had time in every other order that the town has issued. You have given them opportunity after opportunity to do something. They've done nothing. It is in exactly or worse condition from when you first documented it back in 2005. The only right and fair thing to do is to order its demolition tonight. Not to give him another 60 days, because I have no faith that that will be the case after 60 days, because it has not been fixed in the last 15 years, and the town has selected that property over 100 times, and nothing's been done. And I am begging to please order its demolition so that I can attempt to sell my parents' property and not be hindered as they were till the day they died. Both of that house, they lived there for 55 years. They had to put up with them and they lived there and they were abandoned the property and they died with anguish over what would become of the home that I now have to try to sell. I'm begging you. You have had so many chances to right this wrong. And I am begging you to do that tonight. I have a Thank you. I have a question, Jim. Mm -hmm. If the property owner consented, could it be taken down immediately? Rather than waiting I 60 I days? He would, if the property owner consented to the demolition mm -hmm. right now, or just consented in, you know, however you need it, in written form or whatever. If, he, if it was with the property owner's consent, could, could it be taken down? And he'd have to pay for it, and he he or it would then need a demolition permit. Well, no, well, no, to do it. Not, no, not leave it up to him, that he consents to have the town have it removed, demolished. Yeah, but just like Jim's saying, he either has to pay for it or... Right, you know, yeah. Well, he, right. he's paying for it regardless, yeah. because if we take he's it down, it's going to go yeah. on the taxes. And they pay their property taxes. So, Mr. President, is that something that you'd be willing to consider at this point, given the history of this? Want to be a good neighbor? Presuming you're the president? I know I didn't vote for you. Not tonight. Okay. Uh, I think, um, all right, because it just, honestly, rather than go through these motions and wait 60 days, it just would make sense to cut the chase and, and get this thing resolved. So that, I think we should go forward and vote on this thing, but I think if you want to try to clean the slate here, it would be better to just cut the ch cut to the chase. Having somebody look at the mold isn't going to solve what's really going on there. And it seems like it's not salvageable, so. The people I've talked to think it's salvageable, but. To who? The people I've talked to. The ones who voted for it. So if you come up to the mic, so this. Sorry. We can record this. Uh, the people I've talked to believe it's salvageable. salvageable. So, uh, so what is your intent then? What is your intent with the building and the timeline that you have in place? When you have, you said you've talked to mold remediation specialist and architects and engineers. What's your schedule? Your contracting schedule? What it, What is your plan? When's the next people on site? Well, the architect and engineer they would start working as soon as the mold is gone. And, and when do the mold people come? Uh, 
they have to wait for the asbestos uh, survey and abatement. So that would be take three to four days after. Uh, uh, for the uh, with all due respect, I believe uh, that you're going to spend. If you really have all of these things planned, you're going to spend a lot of time and a lot of money for September 15th to roll around, and uh, the town have to do the inevitable. Anyway. Well, the, the mold remediation they said takes two weeks. All right, so they can't just just walk. Uh, yeah, on yeah, the definitely. floors, yes. mm -hmm. the ports uh, are yeah. rotted. Yeah. Well, that that I don't that care who they are. I don't care. Mm -hmm. They walk on the floor. They fall through the floor. So, in addition to being then having your house demolished, you engage liability by bringing them in there. Those pictures of those uh, rafters, those were uh, above the garage, under the deck. I was at the house. Mm -hmm after our last meeting, okay? Mm -hmm. I know what I saw. The time for this debate and the time for all of this, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you've been, you're gonna since 2016. You ain't going no more. Well, Bill, what you said is a true statement. You've been playing this game for many years, and as Jessica said, the amount of money that you're gonna mm -hmm. think you're gonna spend in the next 30 days, as this order says, up to code. You're not going to make that yeah, time frame. That time frame is very close. The amount of money you're going to spend for the mold remediation, engine, and everything else, it would be cheaper for anybody in the long run that really cared about that property to demolish your house and put something new on it. And you would get your, well, you would get a better dollar for it, and all the residents would be <coughs> happy to see that it was finally cleaned up. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't well look like your house. It doesn't look like you're going to follow through on that or anything. Taking it down for the modular work would be a lot better and financially beneficial to you. But anyway, we have one more person that does want to speak, so let's hear that person, please, so we can move forward. Lisa? Lisa, are you out there? They, okay. Yeah. Oh, she was. Hi, what? can you hear me? Go ahead, Lisa. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm on Alice Court, which is just beyond Marble Road Extension. I walk my dog by this house every single day. I've lived here since 2005, and it has been a disgrace. And I've known um, the, Decker, the Deckers who live next door, um, you know, as acquaintances. They give my dog a bone every now and then. They were very sweet people and had to have been real saints um, to put up with the disgrace next door. And I think that um, whoever's trying to save this property in its current state should really take a good look at what their intentions really are and because I think that it's not salvageable. I think that somebody is you know, taking advantage of the law, of what they feel their rights are to this property. And as one of the uh, board members mentioned, you know, it is a hot market. Just sell, you know, just tear it down, sell the land, you know, take it and leave. I'm not, I don't understand what the motivation is behind trying to just um, hold on to the property because we all know nothing is going to be done with it and, and making it difficult for the neighbors uh, in the area. Most of them have been here for a long time and have, are very proud of their property. They're good to each other. I mean, I don't understand what the delay is. And I'm really hopeful that all of you will vote in favor or whatever you have to do to just take the property down and move on. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because I recently had a friend who was also looking at demolishing the house next to our affairs. And the dem to demolish a house is really not that expensive. I mean, rather than spending money on mold mitigation mm -hmm. and engineers, maybe you should just look into demolishing the property and sell the lot. It'd be m money ahead. You can do zoological experiments in the natural habitat at that point. Would anybody else that would like to speak to this? If not, make a motion. One more. Oh, one more. Mr. Evans? Yes. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Charles Evans, and my dad and I built in my house, and the two houses on the side of it. We put many, many hundreds of hours into that house, and it was a beautiful home when we finished it. And then we sold it to someone, and then they sold it to this owner now. And it's just a disgrace what they did to it. And it's, it's a very sweet thing for me to watch what happened through the years. 
It can't be saved. I hate to say it go down, but it has to come down right away. Um, we put the Decker's house and put the money on the other side. And uh, the Decker's stayed there from the time we bought it until we passed away. And it was a beautiful neighborhood. And this just is a disgrace what happened. And I just hope we can take it down as quick as possible. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anybody else like to speak on this? One more person. My name is Mike Kovar, and I live at 80 Mount Road Extension, right basically across the street. And to me sitting here, this looks like this is just a delay tactic that he's trying to do. By the time you get engineers, by the time you do a mold survey, by the time you do structural engineering, that all takes time. So this is just going to delay and delay and delay some more. So I just want to say I hope you all vote to let's get it over with, take it down. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else, please? Is there anybody else? No. We have the motion to close the public. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Carlos. Resolution number four. Whereas, on June 16, 2021, by resolution 616 number five annexed to this town board, this town board adopted a May 4th report of the building department regarding the residential premises at 83 Park Marble Road Extension, <coughs> town of Poughkeepsie, county of Dutchess, State of New York, tax grid number 61622972068, here and after the premise. The honor of record being Zoological and Ecological Research Foundation, Inc., 740 Stephanie Road, Easton, Connecticut, 06612, and found that the building on it had been vacant and abandoned for more than 16 years and is unsafe, dangerous, and dilapidated, and a hazard to the general public and to firefighters and police officers and emergency medical personnel who might be called to it. Contrary to Town Code Chapter 71, buildings unsafe. And whereas in 2011, by resolution 824 number five, annexed to this <coughs> resolution, this town board, based on the owner's failure to maintain the premises, determined that it was necessary for the town to remove waste, litter, limbs, cut the grass, which work was done to the owner's ongoing failure to perform it. It had also been continuously done by the town for almost 10 years. Whereas in 2015, this town board by resolution 1021 number six, also annexed to this document, by reason of the owner's failure to maintain, directed that the premises be secured which directive was not complied with by the owner. And whereas, as directed by this town board on June 16, 2021, the annexed order of a public hearing requiring that repairs, work, and remediation called for by the report be commenced within 30 days of the service of said order and notice and completed and verified compliance with the town code within 60 days thereafter was posted on the building and served by certified mail and, and regular mail on June 28, 2021, an email on June 29, 2021, with notice of the public hearing having been published on June 8, 2021 in the Poughkeepsie Journal, and whereas said order and notice advised the owner of date, time, and place, subjects of the hearing, and the town's rights and remedies, including the recovery and collection of the town's cost to perform required work as an ad valorem levy against the premises and the dem demolition of the building on the premise by the town or its contractors on or after September 15, 2021, in the event of a failure to comply with the order and notice, a town board resolution or local laws now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie authorizes and directs the building department to, on or after September 15, 2021, proceed with the demolition removal of the building by town employees 
or contractors making the lowest bid or proposal if the owner has not timely commenced the repair required repairs work and remediation within 30 days as directed in the order, or if it has not timely and properly completed them as verified by the town building department and town engineer within 60 days of service and to thereafter access, access against the premise and levy and collect the expenses same as provided in Article 15 of the Town Law and the Town Code, Chapter 71, for the levy and collection of a special ad valorem levy, and be it further resolved that the building department may pr procure prices, prices for demolition and removal. Be resolved that this work is an enforcement proceeding and is therefore a Type 2 action which is exempted from the environmental review under 6 New York CC CRR 617.5 C29. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. That brings us to public hearing number four. Four years. Wayne. Wayne. Okay. 31 days and 61 days. You'll ping us back and let us. Thank you. Public hearing number five. Four year term for elected officers. A town clerk, B town supervisor. Motion on public hearing number five. Second. Number five A. It's actually two separate. Five A. Yep. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Anybody here discuss 5 A? Um, yeah. Town clerk, four year mm -hmm. term. Can, can I mention one thing about both of those resolutions? Yes, you may. Um, in the local law, which is attached to it, as first drafted, the last line said term to begin January 1st, 2022, pursuant to local law blank of 2021. Um, and it occurred to a couple people this morning that we're not going to know what the number of that local law is till November. So that clause about referencing local law number blank of 2021 has been deleted and the copy that you have simply ends with the proposal that's going to be on uh, the ballot uh, ending with beginning January 1, 2022 and that's not a substantial change. And Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's it. That, Sorry. that would apply to the both part the yeah, both correct. Both I just want to save us a little time. Yeah. That's all. Does anybody have any comment want to speak on 5A? I, 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 I meant to say that our clerk does an awful good job, uh, as does our, super, our supervisor, and it's uh, a very tedious job. A lot of training is involved, and uh, four years would be. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking for future clerks in the future, and mm -hmm. uh, I did do a lot of research, and most towns in Dutchess County, with the exception of about two, have four-year terms yeah, for their clerks. Stability would be good. And, um, you know, it's just, the stability would be good, and not having to think, say, when I'm gone, having to run just about every year. I think their, their resources are better spent on running the job and, and working mm -hmm. for the constituents rather than having to deal with all of that concur. every mm -hmm. other year. So that, that's really why I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I don't mind, but, mm -hmm. you know. Is there anybody else out there like to make a comment on this public hearing? Mm -hmm. If not, make a motion to close this public hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be enacted by the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie pursuant to a public hearing held on the 7th day of July 2021 at Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rocker Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, at 7 o'clock p.m., that the Town Board does adopt the annexed local law which provides a four-year term for the affected office of Town Clerk, Town of Poughkeepsie, such four-year term to commence January 1, 2022, which annexed local law as hereby adopted is subject to voter approval on November 2nd, 2021, and will become effective immediately upon the filing in the office of the Secretary of the State after approval by a majority of the electors voting therein in accordance with the requirements of Section 27 of the Municipal Home Rule Law. 
and be it further enacted that the legal notice of public hearing was posted on June 18th, 2021 and published in the Poughkeepsie Journal on June 23rd, 2021 and be it further enacted that the town clerk of the town of Poughkeepsie shall file a certified copy of its local law in the office of the town clerk and three certified copies in the office of Secretary of State and of the State of New York each such certified copy to have attached thereto any required certificate executed by the attorney of the town of Poughkeepsie that it contains the correct text and that all proper proceedings have been taken for the each enact for the enactment of this local law if the approval of the qualified voters has been obtained at the general town election on November 2nd 2021 and be it further enacted that the adoption of this local law will not affect the environment and is a type 2 action involving continuing town administration and management with new programs or major reordering of priorities that may affect the environment and requires no secret review the foregoing resolution was voted upon with all board members voting as follows so moved Second. The roll call, please. Sure. Uh, do we want to wait for Bill? Wait. Wait. Tell him to come on in here. Please. Excuse me, Bill. He's meeting with the president. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Carlos, we're voting. And what did Jim What happened? We could just do it um, 6 0. We could just wait on it. We're getting ready to vote on the phone. Yes. Four year. I'm doing a roll call for 5A. Yes. Um, I'm going to start with Jeff Rennigan. Aye. Bill Carlos. Aye. Jessica Lopez. Aye. Uh, Jay Baisley. Aye. Sorry, I went out of order. Mike Safone. Aye. Stefan Carpe. Aye. Ann Churchin. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes 7 0. Make the motion open public hearing 5B. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So anybody here to discuss public hearing 5B on the town supervisor, four-year term? I just want to say the same thing, that I really think it's a good idea. Um, it's a very large town, and for any supervisor at any time to come in, I think it makes a lot of sense. And I just also want to point out that I would consider, if I were the board in, f in the future, to uh, consider doing all the council people on a staggered term. Just throwing that out there in the future. It's something I had also thought about before, and I think that this is a good first step because it'll provide some, some like, board. continuous support. Right. So even if the whole board flops and, uh, you yeah. know, everyone moves, you have two people who have been there for at least two years yeah. and know what's going on. Right. I just think it's idea. a smart thing to do in the future. And Absolutely. I, that's all. Anybody else? We make the motion to close public hearing 5B. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Be enacted the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie pursuant to a public hearing held on the 7th day of July 2021 at Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie. One overlap the road Poughkeepsie, New York at 7 p.m. that the Town Board does adopt the annexed local law which provides for a four-year term for the elective office of Town Supervisor, Town of Poughkeepsie, such four-year term to commence January 1st, 2022, which annexed local law as hereby adopted is subject to voter approval on November 2nd, 2021, will become effective immediately upon the filing of the Office of the Secretary of State after approval by a majority of the electors voting thereon in accordance <coughs> with the requirements of Section 27 of the Municipal Home, Run, Home Rule Law, and be it further enacted that the legal notice of the public hearing was posted on June 18th, 2021, and published in the Poughkeepsie Journal on June 23rd, 2021, and be it further enacted that the Town Supervisor of the Town of Poughkeepsie shall file a certified copy of this local law in the office of the town supervisor and three certified copies in the office of the secretary of state of the state of new york each such certified copy to have attached thereto any required certificate executed by the attorney of the town of poughkeepsie that it contains the correct text and that all proper proceedings have been had or taken for the enactment of this local law if the approval of the qualified voters has been obtained at the general <coughs> town election on november 2nd 2021 it be a further enacted that the adoption of this local law will not affect the environment and as a type two action involving continuing town administration and management without new programs or major reordering of priorities that may affect the environment and requires no secret review, the foregoing resolution was adopted, was voted upon by the town board members voting as follows. So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. Motion second. Um, I'm going to take a roll call. Jeff Rahan. Aye. Bill Carlos. Aye. Jessica Lopez. Aye. Mike Safone. Aye. Stefan Krakow. Aye. Ann Shurston? Aye. And Jay Baisley? Abstain. 
motion passes six, six zero one. Six one. Six zero one. That brings us to the end of our public hearings. I make a motion to spend the rules for any item on the agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Does anybody would like to discuss any item that's on the agenda for tonight? I am John Richardson. I live at 54 Brooklyn Farms Road, and I'm here to discuss item number 15 on the agenda, uh, which concerns property at 52 Brooklyn Farms Road. Um, look at the pictures, and I just look like the house this gentleman was shown here. Uh, that house has been abandoned for the last six or seven years. Um, uh, for four or five years, there was a gentleman living in the house with no heat, no water, no electric. All the time, all the time long. And he, uh, he basically camped out in there and lived in that house until about two years ago. Uh, <coughs> two years ago, was condemned by the town. He continued to live in it, and finally some of the neighbors got tired of the uh, odors that were disseminating from the building. Uh, there was lack of plumbing and called the town police, and he was taken away that day and has not returned in the first year and a half. I called several times to uh, zoning. Uh, concerning the two cars that have been in the driveway for 10 years with no plates, no insurance or anything, overgrown with weeds. Um, I called the uh, zoning department about trying to get the grass cut, which is the biggest concern that our neighbors have. The house is not in the condition that this house is in with unsafe rafters and so forth. It is a, a definite fire hazard as it's a hoarder house. And when, when years ago it went up for a public auction by the county, um, I assume for taxes, it, uh, apparently the house was paid for by the bank. It's never gone for a bank foreclosure as a zombie pump or anything. Um, walk through it, and they did have a $99,000 bid on it, and nothing ever happened after that. I don't know if they paid the taxes or what happened, and I haven't had the time to look up and see if it pays taxes on the building or not. He hasn't been around for the last year and a half since he uh, was taken away by police. And uh, the house is in just general disrepair. The uh, driveway is overgrown with weeds, as is the whole yard. All the weeds are two years old. I noticed today I walked up and there was actually a new sign ordering uh, him to mow the grass. Um, and uh, the one that was there for last year has been taken down and replaced with new one as of May 15th, I believe it was. The backyard has got an in ground pool. It is not surrounded by a fence. It is overgrown, has trees and uh, everything growing out of the pool. It is a hazard for children and animals. I've, I've known of a deer that died in there because I followed through and found out what the smell was coming from the backyard years ago. Um, basically, what the people are looking for is not to have it turned down like this guy's house. It is stable. It, the outside looks kind of ratty. The garage doors have rotted away. There's part of the facade has been taken down. Um, we're still going to have somebody mow the grass and keep the place so it looks halfway decent in the neighborhood. It's bad enough we have a Central Hudson abomination going down the road. And now, if you want to try to sell, if I wanted to try and sell right next door in a very good market, I think it would cost me about $50,000 just because of the way the neighbor looks. And I'm looking forward to next week and uh, your next meeting that hopefully you can discuss this and get the town to start uh, taking care of the grass and the situation with the looks of the house. And John, once we do pass it, we'll, we'll call the contract to within the day or so and get it out there. Okay. And hopefully, we'll keep it, we'll keep it moving. And I'm also looking to see who is the owner. Yeah, because the house is listed as, uh, 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 I forget her name, her last name is Porto. It's listed as her mother, the mother who died about five or six years, about probably ten years ago now. Uh, the person who was living it was Gerard Porto, and her name is, is listed on the deed as uh, Vivian Porto. Uh, and when I talked to Zoning as to why they can't do anything, she said we can't contact her to tell her we're going to put a bill on her taxes. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know who's, I haven't looked to see if they're paying taxes. I'm going to follow up on that with what we're looking at. We also looked into the court in the COVID. They weren't allowed to go to court. That's why she reissued. We talked to the attorney that handles all the court cases and said, yeah. reissue and keep everything going just to keep it going. So bringing up here is the right way to do it. And yep. we will, with the board we have passed, and we just get the water made and cleaned up. All right. And maintain that to figure out what's going on. All right, and I appreciate talking to you last week to tell me how to follow up. I waited for the weeds to get two foot high before I sent the pictures and stuff to uh, uh, Mr. Renahan and Carlos and yourself to show you how it looks at this time. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
So you call after the public hearing, right? You don't call? Yes, if, once the public hearing is done, we'll contact them the next okay. day to get out there. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. Is there anybody else that would discuss, like to discuss any item on the agenda? Yeah. No. If not, motion to resume rules. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Chiffon. Be resolved the town board of town town keeps to hereby reappoint police lieutenant Shannon Rodriguez to the Arlington Business Improvement District Board of Directors, which appointment is for a period ending June 30, 2020, 2022. And be it further resolved that the town board does acknowledge and supervise the reappointment of Councilwoman Ann Shearson to said board, which appointment is for the period ending June 30, 2022. And the comptroller of the reappointment of Supervisor John J. Baisley, which appointment is for the period ending June 30th, 2022. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Be resolved, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Amanda Limtone to the position of full-time senior clerk in the town of Poughkeepsie planning department <laughs> at the grade six, step three salary of $24 Three thirty-six one four cents per hour, which appointment is subject to a probationary period not less than eight, no more than twenty-six weeks per civil service law, effective July twelfth, twenty twenty-one, and be further resolved as town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. Second. Motion. Second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be resolved, the town board of town Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Bianca Surrell to the position of full time senior clerk of the town Poughkeepsie War Department at a grade 6, step 3 salary of 24.36.14 per hour, which appointment is subject to a probation period not less than 8 and more than 26 weeks per civil service law, effective July 12, 2021. And be further resolved, the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources. In connection with this appointment, so moved. Second. We got a motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Being resolved, the town board of town Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Paul Magliato to the position of full time sewer maintenance mechanic with the town of Poughkeepsie Sewer Department at grade 6 point salary of $22.5664 per hour which appointment is subject to a probationary period of not less than eight nor more than 26 weeks per civil service law and subject to employee obtaining their class b cl license effective july 12 2021 and be a further resolved that the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the dutch county department of human resources in connection with this appointment so moved Second. Any questions on this one? Uh, Paul's here. Uh, where, where did he go? There he is. Okay. I knew it was sitting there. He moved right up there. Like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I, there. So, I, know, I know we had an interview with him. He did a, a great job with the interview. And uh, I think Randy has a permit and he's going for that seat, right? Is that what it's right? Friday, I'm working yeah. my time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so, yeah. Welcome aboard. Mm -hmm. Almost. Almost. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Welcome aboard. There <laughs> does hereby appoint Isaiah Julian to the position of full-time sewer maintenance mechanic with the Town of Poughkeepsie Sewer Department at the grade six step one salary of $22.5664 per hour, which appointment is subject to a probationary period of not less than eight nor more than 26 weeks per civil service law and subject to employee obtaining their Class B CDL license effective July 12, 2021. He has further resolved that the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all Dan documentation Salvatore, required by the Dutchess <laughs> County Department of Human Resources. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and second. Any questions? Well, that was simple. We did a great job. We were very eager to start the job, and I think it was going to 
be a, a big asset to the department. And before regarding this, I will make a comment. I interviewed with Isaiah originally for the rec department a few months ago, and a comment to him was, do what you can, reach out, keep your face clean with everybody, learn and listen, and he worked with Franco down there doing some things, and he's actually stepped up to the plate, and if Jan was here from the rec department, she'd probably vote against you getting hired in the sewer department, <laughs> because we're very happy with what you've done so far, so hopefully in the sewer department it goes forward, and also you are looking to get your CDL, which I think is great. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes, 7-0. Sorry, Ron, you need to come to us. You guys are for the whole meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Number 11. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby promote Sandra Lane from the position of typist to senior clerk, grade 6, step 3, at the hourly salary of $24.3614 with the Town of Poughkeepsie Sewer Department, effective immediately, such promotion being subject to a probationary period of not less than 8 nor more than 26 weeks per civil service law. And be it further resolved that the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this promotion. So moved. Second. Second. Any motion second. Any questions on this one? I'd like to just say for the next, for this one and the next few after this, it's, it's really, I've been here for a while and it's really nice to be able to uh, promote people from within mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. they all work hard and they've, they've given a lot, they made a lot of sacrifices to come in through COVID and everything like that. So I'm really happy to be able to promote people from within the town. So what you will see in this position, they will be cross-working with the water department. There's one less person, so they will be covering for each other and going across. So when that promotion will come additional duties. It's not just a promotion. Mm -hmm. They will be intermingling with water and sewer together to cover back and forth and cross-train. And if anybody can do that, it's Sandy. She's yeah. already worked in other departments yes. and it's just, she's yep. wonderful. And what all these are, this is one of the few times that there's not a lot of lists that are in probationary period and mm -hmm. bringing them in is one of the few times we have a chance to realign the departments downstairs, which you're going to see the next one. The same with the building we department. We've been trying to do that for, yeah. for quite a few years now to get everybody cross-trained. So this, this is really good. It's, it's, a, change. Change. it's a change. It's a change. The departments are working well together as department heads, and I think with the staff inside mm -hmm. cross-training and being shorthanded the way we have the last few months, this will definitely help out a lot. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Seven. Guys, I just want to say on behalf of Sandy, she couldn't be here tonight. Um, she wants to thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, be resolved, Town Board, Town of Kipsey, and Sweet Black Promote, Rebecca Santorini, uh, Santorini from the position of typist to clerk, grade, senior clerk, grade 6, step 4, the hourly salary of 25.3426, Town of Kipsey Building Department, effective immediately. Such promotion being subject to probation period of not less than 8, nor more than 26 weeks per civil service law. And be a further resolved that the Town Supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutch County Department of Human Resources in connection with this promotion. So moved. Second. A motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be resolved, the town board of the town of Kipsey is hereby appointing Kristen Mastro, Mastro Marino to the position of full time senior clerk with the town of Kipsey Building Department at a grade 6 step 2 salary of $23.0026 per hour, which appointment is subject to a probationary period of not less than 8 no more than 26 weeks per civil service law effective July 28, 2021. And be it further resolved that the town supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by Dutch County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. The motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Whereas an order to remedy, a copy of which is attached here to, has been issued for the property located at 22 Susan Lane, Town of Poughkeepsie, State of New York, pursuant to Chapter 159A. Dash four, mowing in the town of Poughkeepsie town code, and whereas the order to remedy has not been complied with, now therefore be resolved the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby set the fourth day of August 2021 
at 7 p.m. at Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Barker Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, as and for the time, date, and place of a public hearing to consider a recommendation from the zoning administrator that the town or its contractor remove and as needed continue to remove all garden waste, fallen tree limbs, and cut the grass to a height not to exceed 12 inches, all at the above property, so it will not become overgrown and unsightly, the cost of which work shall constitute a lien and charge to the above real property until paid, satisfied, or discharged, and shall be collected in the same manner as other town charges. So moved. Second. We have a motion second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. The resolution remedy, a copy of which is attached here to, has been issued for a property located at 52 of Brooklyn Farms Road, Town of Poughkeepsie, State of New York, pursuant to Chapter 159A 4 Bowman of the Town of Poughkeepsie Town Code. And where I said order remedy has not been complied with, and will therefore be resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby set the fourth day of August 2021, 7 p.m., Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie. One over Rocket Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, as and for the time, date, and place of a public hearing to consider recommendation from the zoning administrator that the town or its contractor remove and as needed continue to remove all garden waste, fallen tree limbs, cut grass to a height not to exceed 12 inches, all the above property shall not become overgrown and unsightly. The cost of which, of which work shall constitute a lien charge in the above real property until paid, satisfied, or discharged, and shall be collected in the same manner as other town charges. So moved. Second. Second. Got a motion second. Any questions in this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby accept the vested interest in Canines Inc. program grant award for two canine ballistic vests, which will be used for the protection of our two canines, Kyle and Taya. And be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor or his designee to execute paperwork in relation to the acceptance of this grant. So moved. Second. Got a motion second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. And thank you to the police department to reach out in getting this grant. Resolution number 17. Whereas the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie has received applications from town historian John Penna and the Historic Preservation Commission the properties known as 5, 15, and 19 Conklin Street, New Hamburg, 12590, grid ID number 13468960570757189800. Next one, 13468960. 07-594-892-0000 and 13-4-689-6057-07-600-889-0000 to designate said properties as historic landmarks. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize and direct the Town Clerk to publish notice of a public hearing to be held on the fourth day of August 2021 at 7 p.m. in the Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rock Road, Poughkeepsie, New York. And be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does direct the Town Clerk to forward notice by certified mail return receipt requested to the owner or owners of the parcel on which the proposed landmark site or historic district is situated and by regular mail to the owners of all property located within 300 feet of the exterior boundary line of said parcel. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? I uh, just wanted to say that all the owners of this property are in favor of these designations and have signed the applications. Yeah, and just, would they send it all out? Did everyone get a, the email that they sent out about the history and everything about those houses? It was very interesting. I don't know if they just sent to me. I should look at what they sent to yeah, yeah, right? I think they sent yeah. it was a file out. It was a pretty yeah. in-depth yeah. file. Yeah. I, I would just like to thank John Penn and the Historic Preservation Commission and presumably the owners of these properties for being proactive because mm -hmm. we get these things when something's about mm -hmm. to happen. It's nice to see that there's being things done for 
have mm -hmm. the temporary. Mm -hmm. Right. And one of them they are restoring, and they're going to have to do some work on because yeah. it is in disrepair, and they're actually going to make this stuff that's going to work on. Huh. And it's a lot more expensive to try to work on this. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby accept the certificates of attendance for Diane Levitt, Carl Whitehead, and Benedetta Pan Paganelli for webinar trainings presented by the New York State Tug Hill Commission entitled Regulating Short Term mm -hmm. Rentals, copies of which are attached. So moved. Second. We have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be it resolved the Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby accept the certificates of attendance for Ahmad. Kanani for webinar training presented by Dutchess County Planning Federation entitled Zoning for Food Trucks and Training entitled Planning and Zoning and Introduction, copies of which are attached, so moved. Second. There's a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Whereas the Town of Poughkeepsie has duly adopted the New York State Fire Prevention and Building Construction Code to provide minimum requirements to safeguard the public safety and whereas the Town of Poughkeepsie Government Inspector administers and enforces all provisions of the New York State Uniform Fire Prevention Building Code, the New York State Energy Code, and the Town of Poughkeepsie Code, and whereas the Town of Poughkeepsie requires the issuance of the issuance of a building permit for the construction, enlargement, alteration, repair, removal, or demolition of any building or other structure, and whereas the New York State Uniform Fire Prevention and Building Code regulates the design, construction, installation, alteration, and repair of equipment and systems using solar systems, and whereas the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority has developed a New York State Unified Solar Permit that reduces the cost solar projects by streamlining municipal permitting processes and where the town of KFC desires to promote the streamlining application process for small scale photovoltaic system installations under 25 kilowatts in size by adopting the New York State Unified Solar Permit application form and implementing the new procedures. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of KFC hereby adopts the New York State Unified Solar Permit application form and procedures for the installation of small scale photovoltaic systems and it further and it is further resolved the town of Poughkeepsie building inspectors hereby directed to use said New York State Unified Solar Permit application for and procedures in the issuance of building permits for the inst installation of small scale small scale photovoltaic systems and it is further resolved any further action required of the town of Poughkeepsie to affect the foregoing are hereby, hereby authorized and the town of Poughkeepsie supervisors hereby authorized to execute and deliver any instruments, documents or the like as required to affect the same and it is further resolved that the adoption of this form and procedures is a type 2 action requiring no secret review because it involves routine and continuing agency administration which does not include new programs or reorient reori priorities that may affect the environment. So moved. So Second. Motion, second. Any comments? Yeah, um, this action actually earns us points on both clean energy and uh, climate smart. So this is and actually it's very helpful for us to get additional grants under the clean energy. And basically, the permits we were using obtain all the same information as in this unified solar permit. So we were already doing it. It's just a different form. Yeah, we were currently using the, the state permit. And yeah. I served a couple years ago, came out with a permit. And at that point, it was like three years ago, I talked to Tim Sickles, and he said, we were doing 99% of what was originally on there. So when we got this, and now we had municipality, I wanted to make sure this wasn't a conflict and a big issue. And he sat with zoning and development to make sure that a lot of this was based on solar units on a roof. He wanted to make sure it wasn't going to affect what the ground units were. So that's why it took a while to go through. And we got a note back from Tim about a week ago that he was fine with it, it was ready, and they looked at it. And Mike, do you want to say something? I was just going to say. Mike, did you want to say something, or you just? Oh, no, I just said they had any other questions, but Jay and Ann pretty much covered it. So thanks. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's just basically more about the points, because this is something, believe it or not, that our building department has already been doing 99% of this. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Be it resolved, the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the applications made by Bob Legacy on behalf of the Arlington Business Improvement District and does hereby grant approval to the Arlington Business Improvement District to hold events known as Family Nights, located at 46-48 Raymond Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York, on July 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th, August 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th, September 2nd, 9th, and 16th, 2021, from 5 to 10 p.m. And be further resolved, the town clerk 
is in receipt of a certificate of liability insurance naming the town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured so moved. I do have a question. Will any of the other local businesses be open and offer any uh, <coughs> discounts or anything for families? Yeah. Uh, we just need a second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we've gotten uh, kind of everybody in the business district second. involved. Um, some of the retailers that usually close down around 5 o'clock are going to be staying open until 8 o'clock that night and offering um, different specials. I know Dreaming Goddess, if you go in and you give a receipt from the farmer's market, she's going to give you a percentage off of your uh, purchase. Um, restaurants are all doing some takeout specials for families that are grabbing stuff to go for, uh, for uh, we're going to have music. Every Everyone uh, yeah, is sure. invited and is going to be involved. Should we amend it to, to say maybe, like, I don't know, instead of at that address? So that it incorporates the music and everything all into one. For it the really is minutes. everything Raymond Avenue all the way down to Main Street, where it's, it's including everyone. But I don't, I, you know, but I was the, just the, the actual that site. site. Yeah. Okay. Well, there'll be things right at that it's site. It's the actual site with actual. Okay. The movie was shown, but it is, music it is the whole yeah, Arlington right. Business District. Right. That's and when this was brought up, we have um, the farmers market that night. And we're trying to get the people that come to the farmers market to come across to deal with the businesses. And we got a great response by reaching out to the businesses mm -hmm. last week. Tina and Jessica were both in the meeting. I think everybody's mm -hmm. on board. I think this is something as a bonus to bring people in to realize what's there and to see that the businesses are going to stay open. Arlington's a very vibrant place to be. If you look at all the outdoor dining, it's going. I think this is actually something that's going to bring people across to realize there's more than just the farmers market because as we discussed. Farmers market helps the people come into the market, but very few of the businesses in the district are at the market, so we need to help the businesses in the district. And, and it was very cost effective the whole thing. It didn't cost a lot of money I to put this together. About that. Yeah. Thank you. But sadly, are we having to cancel tomorrow already? Because yeah. it looks like it's going to be. We did have to pull the trigger on tomorrow. Rain delay will start next next Thursday. It'll be sunny. I can yeah. feel it. So July fifteenth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we want to start on a good note. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Yes, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. And good luck. Step on. Who is it, me? That's you. Be resolved the town board town of is hereby accept with regret the resignation of Jessica Lopez from the city, from the joint city town water board, effective immediately, and be it further resolved the town board town of is hereby appoint Charlie Emberger to the joint city town water board to fill such vacancy. Which term expires on December 31st, 2022? So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Being resolved that the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Andrew D'Angelo on behalf of the DDD Foundation for Suicide Prevention to hold its fourth annual David D'Angelo Memorial Bike Run for Suicide Prevention to be held Sunday, July 18, 2021. And be it resolved that the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the application for said fundraiser, Lake Run, and that the town clerk is in receipt of a certificate of liability insurance naming the Town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. So moved. Second. We have a motion second. Any questions on this one? Well, it's usually a nice event and it's a good cause, so yes. I would recommend people check it out. Agreed. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. That brings us to the end of our agenda. I hope you both the motion to suspend the rules for any item at all. Is there anybody who would like to discuss any town item at all? No. No. Okay. With that, we're done. Be in the of the town board of town of Kipsy. Do we have? What? Resume the rules or no? Any motion to resume the rules? Sorry. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Jeff. Okay. Be resolved that the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby adjourned to executive session to consider the following discussions regarding proposed pending or current litigation, rental towing, and the opiate suit, the proposed acquisition, sale, or lease of real property when publicly would substantially affect the value thereof, to discuss matters which are exempt under open mean law, including matters subject to attorney client privilege. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town, the town board goes into executive session 9 26 p.m. Thank you, everybody.